Look, if we come through this, is there a thing where we, like, talk to each other about stuff normally? You want to talk to each other normally? Okay. So, I have a confession to make. Um, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with, with succession. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. I had not watched it until literally this year, okay? I had never seen it before, never bothered to check it out. All four, three, four? No, three. I'm stupid. Three seasons. All three seasons are out and I have just binged them all in a month, which is something that I never do, but I can't stop watching it. Whenever I get a chance, I just throw it on. And it's always good TV. It's always interesting and keeps me engaged. Um, so I love, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and I thought it would be so much fun because every time I've been watching it in season three, it's just so crazy to me how far the characters have gone from like who they were. So I thought it would be so much fun if we like speculate a little bit on what their signs are. <laughs> on what their big three is because now we've seen so much of them i'm like i think i could make an accurate assessment of what i think this is you know what i mean and i thought that would be so much fun so anyway i thought today would be a self-care day um i've got all my acne medication and whatnot in front of me so we're gonna mix a little we're gonna mix a little face mask moment um and that's gonna be really fun i think and you know hit yourself with some spray and then do some good old-fashioned work afterwards on the skin. I thought that would be really sick while we talk about this. I thought this just could be self-care moment. I have here one of these little bandy guys. Um, my friend Eileen made this for me when I was in high school and I've managed to keep it pretty good since then. I'm like pretty careful with it because I don't want to, you know, ruin it or risk it or anything. All right, let's get started. This is going to be so much fun. I gotta mix, I gotta mix this, uh, I gotta mix this here, little guy. All right, so just, you can see it's like a little green paste guy and it suggests on the side to mix it with equal parts water and apple cider vinegar. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this in here right now. A little portion in there, not much, but we can always make more. I had so much left over. I did this yesterday that I, I don't wanna do that again. So I'm gonna put in, I think, a cap full of apple cider vinegar. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna use from my own water bottle. I know you guys are gonna judge me, but it's just, I think, smart because it's just cold, nice and cold for the skin and whatnot. And now you can see it's like foaming and, and bubbling a little bit. ASMR. And I have very sensitive skin, but for some reason this mask doesn't seem to really irritate it. A little mixy mix. Just mush it more. Okay. So the first one that we have is Kendall Roy, um, obviously. I happen to think that Kendall um, is a Pisces. He really seems like a Pisces to me. He's, he gives Pisces energy. He cries at the drop of a hat at absolutely everything, but is also just self-absorbed enough, I think, that he reminds me of all my Pisces friends because they never seem to be... They never seem to have, like, real things to cry about, except when they made a dumb decision, which they do a lot. And I'm, I'm a Leo, so this is all obviously going to be colored through my Leo experience of everyone else, but a lot of my best friends are Pisces, and they cry and have emotional breakdowns all the time, and then like bounce out of it. They have that crazy thing that Kendall does where he's just like, no, I'm cool, no, 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 cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, no. It's, that's the most Pisces-ass shit, because it's the 12th sign of Zodiac. So because of that, it just like has every single one of the Zodiac members, personalities all mixed up in one, Pisces. So I think that the imagery can be really confusing for them because there's like so many conflicting emotions going all at once in this like crazy, crazy, amalgamation of their headspace, you know? And, and I, I'll hopefully show some videos too of moments that I'm like, oh, that's that's a Pisces thing that he just did. All right, one hit. So listen guys, um, you down here? <laughs> no, it's good. I'm happy for you. 
I'm happy for you. Uh, can I suggest a hug? You see? What is it? Um, I think the likelihood is that his moon sign is probably, it's probably Scorpio. The, the addiction issues, the jealousy, the like, sudden fits of rage moments, but also intelligence, business intelligence, and also the like way he hops from partner to partner, and it sort of doesn't like, it doesn't really seem to phase him, it doesn't seem to show, like, he can't see what everybody else sort of sees about that. I, I mean, to me, it's very Scorpio moon of him it just is hq the hashtag resistance what up how are we feeling i'm looking for pussy like a fucking techno gatsby panic meister cooking up his sweaty spaghetti i'll throw in a blow job i'll throw in a reach around hell i'll even uh, cup his balls fuck the patriarchy hey hey happy birthday yo geezer I think Volter is the shiz. We're the shiz? All right, what's up, bro? Doing the heavy lifting. I'm feeling it, feeling those good vibrations. Kenny. Yeah, and I think that's what points at some of his toxic traits as well, because Pisces Sun, Scorpio Moon is a cool person. They just have a lot of issues and Kendall does, but he's also very intelligent, which that combination leads itself to because it's double water. I just imagine if I saw him on TV, what I would think of him and I would just think he's like a really boring politician son, you know, which I think is why that actor, Jeremy, what up, Jeremy Strong is so brilliant in that role because he really captures the like overall boringness, overall like nothing particularly notable about them except the loud mouth and the richness and, oh you know gee. getting on tv and spewing some things that he thought was such a slay will be um connecting with his shareholders uh, <clears throat> sorry do you mind i'll take it from here step aside please you know i'm, I'm not actually i'm not actually scheduled to speak today kelly rob thank you And then it got turned around on him a week later. Sorry, spoilers. Okay, next up, I think it's worth discussing Logan. Fucking doubter, over there. Logan, to me, this was hard. I was really like, I was really sort of sitting on this one. And I think, to be honest with you, I think Logan is probably a Sagittarius. He's very mouthy. He's an older Sagittarius, as I know some, but they're all kind of like that, that kind of, don't want to hear it, like, what are you telling me that you know that I don't know? You know, like that kind of two-facedness that you're never quite sure what they're thinking. It's kind of like a, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know, so older Sagittarius, they go from being loud and over the top in youth and I guess boisterous to being these like. People come to us because we don't sell them on anything. No packet of fucking bleeding heart, United Nations, Volvo, gender bender, horseshit. Why can't he come to us? Well, I guess he's the president. Uh, fucking Californian shrunken little raisin. Oh, the vote of no confidence in Logan Roy? Me. My hand is raised. Oh, no oh, shit, no Judas. Shit. You better be you better smelling be your fucking your armpit, 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 Romulus. Yeah, so that's where I think that his like loudness and his like screaming at people, telling people to fuck off, like that's very specific. You know, that feels very fire sign to me. And you could argue that he, had, he would have like a, Mar, a Mars and a fire sign, but I would argue he has both. I would argue he has like, I would argue he has, he has a, whatever his son is, his Mars is. And I would argue that they work in tandem. Um, and, I think for a rising sign, I would guess that he is a Taurus rising because he has this very flowing earthly energy. And like, I think about like Rhea when she first met him and she was like, hmm, you know, he could be very kind. And we know that Logan is not kind no matter, like there's no scenario in which he's kind, but. So as you know, I didn't go in. 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. Ship's tough. Someone who's good at fooling that sort of energy of like, warmth in the house and in the home and is like strong and stalwart like someone that appears trustworthy so i could see why that would be taurus rising and it would also lead itself to some of this pig-headedness in addition because when you have fire sun earth rising that's like a very it's a it's a, a lot that's a lot as a combo for sure this whole family is a nest of vipers they'll wrap themselves around you and they'll suffocate you what romulus when you laugh, please do it at the same volume as everyone else. We didn't get you from a hyena farm. Thanks, Bob. Check out, Check fucking, out fucking Papa, Papa Smurf. Smurf. His moon would be something... Something like Leo, where it would be like uh, prowling around and family is first. Family comes first. It's not, it, but it wouldn't be cancer because cancer would actually care about their feelings. No, it would have to be something that doesn't really. So I feel like Sag Sun, Leo Moon, because he's the king of the home and hearth and like no one is gonna come in the way of that. He's selling me things I want at a fair price. So what's next? Felicio? It's my fucking company. You are a fucking nobody. Oh Jesus Christ, fucking amateur out at the fucking circus. I'm yep. not dignifying that fucking question with an answer. You can both fuck off. So Sag Sun, Leo Moon, I think makes sense. And it also explains why he be, he's so crotchety around the house. And then Rising Taurus, I think makes- Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. You, fuck off. If you can't do it, fuck off. Shut the fuck up. And I'm proud of my family who have helped me get here. What are you waiting for? Kiss, fuck off. Be gone, bye bye. And would also explain why he is so antithetical to his children um, because Sagittarius and Pisces actually is okay. The two, and it, I think that makes sense because I think out of all the children, I think Logan has a certain fondness for Kendall that we just keep, we just keep seeing and we're not quite sure what it is. Then we have, um, Shivad, I like to call her Shavasana. Shavasana Roy. Um, because um just the sounds what her sound her name sounds like to me. I was thinking about this one because I was like, there is something here. There is something here, and I can't put my finger on what it is. And I think I finally cracked the code while my face is starting to freeze and emulsify. I can't really. What the fuck? Oh, I, I missed. Oh no, I didn't miss a spot. That's weird. It just, just dried weird. Oh, it's drying, I guess. Okay, now my face is starting to freeze. I think Siobhan is a Scorpio. Let that sit in. Let that sink in for a second. I think Siobhan is a Scorpio. She is the most dirty, dirty trick ass bitch. She, <laughs> she, she, she. There is something odd in Siobhan and the way that she thinks and it don't sit right with me. Which means to me that her sun and moon is something whack as fuck and I think I figured out what it is. And her rising is gonna be something that fools people into thinking that this is a person worthy of trust. She was unqualified. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy, and beautiful, and she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. So I'm thinking Sun Scorpio, which would also explain all the like weird, weird mind games she likes to play with everybody else. Like, do you remember that one scene? I'm gonna pull up this one scene specifically. This one scene that she had with, um, with, uh, what's his name? Roman, with Roman on the dock. And she's like, I'm really proud of you. And he's like, yeah, fuck you. And she's like, no, I'm serious. I'm really proud of you. And he's like, what? I know what you're doing. I'm just saying it's exciting. It's all set. Sure. You're fucking with me, but Rome, I'm impervious. I'm not fucking with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying good luck. Well, great. Well, thanks a lot. What? You're trying to get inside my head, but that's cool. I can cope. I'm... 
No. I think you're a super talented superstar, and I I love you. Oh, you're such a fucking bitch. And like that's the most that was the most Scorpio bullshit I've ever seen in my fucking life. And that and, and in addition to the fact that she's actively cheating on Tom and open asked for an open relationship. Every Scorpio I've ever met in my entire life has cheated on their partner. That's a statistic for me. So I don't know. I don't know. Her energy, very intelligent, cutthroat, just like, but also like very emotional, big on passive aggression. Very, there's the most, that's a passive aggressive girly. Scorpio. I'm thinking moon sign Aquarius. I know. Whoa. I know you're like, whoa, whoa. Ulo, where are you getting that? I'm like, okay, listen. She knows so much about so much. And Aquarius moons are information highways. They know so, they be like, learning things about things just because, and for me, I feel like Shiv definitely shows these qualities because she had knows, she happens to know so much about so much. And the way that she thinks is kind of weird to me, like in addition to the Scorpio kind of energy that she gives off in general, I think she also gives something kind of airy, kind of like, there's something there that's kind of like, You're wet, you're green, you're intellectually insecure, you're not emotionally Bullshit. strong enough, you nope. have addiction Wait, issues. That, that's, that's, enough. that's enough. You know, not necessarily readable, not necessarily trustworthy, but interested in quite a few things. And I don't know, all of that to me points at Aquarius, especially because she'd be doing the weird shit she'd be doing. Girl, that's you. Okay. Head doctor guy. I wouldn't know, no one tells me anything. Well, I hope you can cure your serious case of being a bitch. I'm not doing a very good job of talking about this right now, but I think it's also partially because my face is freezing right now. Like, it's like tightening to the point that I'm like, whoa, okay, I can barely move my face. Is he a Jew, by the way? Oh, come on. What? Oh, girl, you used to be fun. When did you become one of them? One of who? Like, dancey bullshit, like, oh, you can't say that kind of people. Okay, well, I'm sorry I don't want to come to your freewheeling, good time, N-word shouting oh hoedown. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Well, I'm glad you've been watching our programs. You shouldn't do that. Not with your IQ. Oh, hardy, diddy, hard, hard. Trust. For the record? Yeah. The fuck is this? McCarthyism? I'm not declining. I'm just not... I'm not declining. What the f Oh. Shiv's rising. Okay, this one to me gets me because I'm like, ooh, if I first met Shiv, I would probably think that she is an Aries. <laughs> yeah, just like tall, stalwart, strong, broad shoulder moment, like cutthroat, like kind of haircut, but it's also a filet girl boss the queen of the modern girl boss, Shavasana Roy. She, to me, is like the epitome of that like Scorpio, Aries, double front energy. And then you have the moon of Aquarius, which is a little more like interested in philanthropy and other like, you know, thing, politics, philanthropy, information on various subjects of all matters. Intercepted. All times. Shiv, you're adopted. And Ken? You're adopted. I'm sorry, I don't know why I asked you down here. Can I suggest a hug? You see what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck. Here I come. Here we all are. Give me a fucking scary look. You hit me, I will fuck you up. Right? Ah. Fuck. Yeah. Also, she didn't want to go with her father's business. She decided she wanted to pave her own way in life, which is Aquarius' whole thing, dawning of the age of Aquarius, pave your own way, blah, 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 ka, 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 whatever. So it would also be why they have such an interesting relationship, father-daughter, because she can't read him and he can feel her water sign, air sign, sun, moon, and it's kind of like, oh my God, what is that? Fuck. Oh my God, what is that? Cause he's falling victim to the same thing. He also is, is feeling her Aries energy and how she could lead. But then she has moments where you're just kind of like, shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> we all have, I'm sorry, I can't move my face. I'm, I think we all have moments like that as well with our friends that you're just, especially, sorry Scorpios, especially Scorpios. Y'all be talking and sometimes I just be like, Shut the fuck up. Roman. Roman, Roman. Roman. Oh my god, this yeah, one's gonna yeah. be good. Um, um okay. okay. Roman to me is really hard to read, but I think I cracked the code on this one. This took me quite some, this, this was the hardest for me. I really had to sit there and really like, stew with what I thought this was. I'm like, what? What is this actually? You know, onions have layers, ogres have layers, people have layers, characters have layers, you know? And for me, this is just another way of classifying them. So I was like, but let me get to the truth here. I think Roman is a Gemini sun, and, but there is something really dark here in the midst of this. Okay, I lied. Here's what Roman is. Okay, here's what Roman actually is. Roman is a Virgo sun. But dad's gonna try and win a therapy. Well, he hasn't done therapy with me yet. I'm an expert. <clears throat> yes. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, this is what it looks like when you resolve all your issues. Listen guys, um, I do have something I need to tell you. Um, and uh, it turns out, uh, Shiv, you're adopted. And Ken, you're adopted. And Connor is obviously, obviously. adopted. Cause he is quippy shit anxiety ridden and has all these weird little intricacies that he has formulated for himself because to me Virgo is the strangest of the earth signs for sure. Capricorn's emotional as hell. Virgo is anxious because they have concocted a world that they have seven fingers in at all times. So they're just like, Ugh. and then there's Taurus who just needs bath salts to, and wine to sort of just, Taurus is turning to vices to cope. Virgo is just sitting there in the stewing in this so I think Roman's probably a Virgo son because he gives serial killer energy a little bit anyway. You know, well, not that, like uh, an equivalent of the thing. Like I abduct, I abduct you, you and force you to, force live, you to with live with me. And I think he's probably a Gemini rising. That's what this is. That you meet him and he's just like, I don't think we need to Because he opens his mouth and he's just like, Can we think about it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I thought about it. Fuck you. Hey, Con, how's the hooker with the heart of gold? Nice vest, Wamsgans. It's so puffy. Thank you, Roman. What's it stuffed with? Your hopes, your hopes and dreams? I don't know what you're fucking laughing about. I'm not even laughing. Spitballing some shit. He looks like he's just so cute. I mean, he looks like I could put him in, in my pocket. So I think Jim and I rising probably. <laughs> I don't understand it. How the fuck he did that? Virgo son. He actually, if you recall, there are several times in the show where Kendall and Logan both make a point of pointing out that Roman, that Roman is actually very good at his job and that he works hard and probably has the potential to be CEO. I think, didn't, didn't, uh, what's her face say that? Rhea, Rhea was the one that said that, that she would back Roman as CEO probably too. Um, and I think for a moon sign, Dare I venture that he's a double Virgo? Like a dare, dare I venture that? Cause he's just awkward and pushy enough for that to make sense. <laughs> Look at all this fucking bullshit. Mm, yes, mm, very serious. Mm. And has, and then he just has a Venus in Scorpio or something that points towards kind of like weird, you know, almost put, da put downs. Oh, what is that? Date rape by Calvin Klein? Yeah, you wish. You know, it's like a kinky. I feel like it's a mistake to give him a water sign in the big three because we haven't really seen him like really exhibit water sign, you know, tendencies. Mm, with me, it's usually, who's that young Han Solo and how do I get his dick in my ass? Can I suggest something? Yeah. Can I suggest Can I we all take our shirts, shirts off? Shirt? Okay, Kendall. What are you doing? Taking my shirt off. That's all. Twist, 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 twist. Ken, make yeah. him put his shirt on. Nah, crying in the bathroom in a fetal position like Kendall, which to me is, I'm sorry, Kendall is such a, like he is a most, that kid is a water sign. I don't think Roman's a water sign. And I think that might be part of the reason why like Roman and Kendall have trouble communicating. Virgo Pisces, 
Scorpio as a triple for children. Yeah, I could see why they would have issues with each other growing up. <laughs> what? Where are you? I'm in New Mexico. What? I realize now. Are you high? No. I'm in some guy's house. And... I mean, yeah, we've been taking drugs, but I'm very clear. Uh, can you drop me a pin so I know you're okay? Wrong. We're okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with us. Hey, just drop me a fucking pin. I'm not gonna come get you. Just do it now. Are you doing it? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm coming to get you, ma'am. Thank you. Thanks. It's very exciting. Go ahead and get a drink. <laughs> come on. Oh, yeah. We're gonna celebrate. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Tom, to the family. Uh, I don't feel anything. <laughs> it's a mental disorder. It's called borderline personality disorder. Why is everybody laughing? And then finally, of course, you have Connor. I just want you to know, I think I'm going to uh, reveal to him that you sexually abused me as a child. Excuse me? You are one sick puppy. Why would you say that? Stop saying that. You don't really think that, do you? No, I'm fucking with you. The way you we fucked me fuck as a baby. You who is just an idiot. I'm not saying I would make a better CEO. That's unsaid. It's not it's unsaid what you say is. Um, I think Connor is probably also a Sagittarius son. Um, just a very different type of Sagittarius son, which is possible. Because Sagittarius is really big on travel. I ranch, I ride, I earn, and I give, just like you. Sagittarius, that's not necessarily like totally you know, far gone and, and self-obsessed business. Have a drink, have a drink, have a drink you beautiful, beautiful Ichabod, Ichabod Crane, Crane. Fuck, fuck you. Business grip for grips like this, you know, like, yeah, there's really potentiality for fun there, I think. Um, there's a package of items my bidder is in for. Ah, uh, hell, why not? Like what? Uh, Napoleonica, just some items. Including Napoleon's penis. That's not, That's not the, not central, the central, central item. item. Right. It's... Just a package with some letters and some other artifacts, but yes, yes. that has come to market. It's obviously not an item of interest to serious scholars, but as a curio, sure. A British, a British surgeon, surgeon snipped it off. I, I don't know, I think he also gives Gemini energy. Um, I think that he probably could have a Gemini moon. But, ding dong, who's there? Uncle Sam. And where's his hand? In my pants. Old Mr. Fiddlesticks, Uncle Meat Hands. Right. Dad wouldn't let us in the pool with him. But you know, the guys of that generation, it was a different time. Okay, let's get a donor on the end of this pool and I feel a pack attack coming on. To be honest with you, that's probably what that is because he's just like constantly bounding from one thing to the next. I don't know, maybe it's this now, maybe it's this now. You know, suddenly we're in theater, suddenly we're working on politics and also I want to become president. He said he's beta testing it before he Instagrams and enters the ideas primary. Well, I tell you, I ain't and also I made the video for that already. Did you see it? Yeah, that's very Gemini moon to me. So I could see like Sagittarius sun, Gemini moon. Hey baby, how about this for the eulogy? Ooh. Lester touched all of us. Hey, I spoke to Lester a lot toward the end. He always spoke so fondly of you. Oh, I see you a mile away, sister. What, you want to dig through my treasure chest for some precious memory gems? If you want to print something in your little book, mm -hmm. you may print the following line. Connor Roy was interested in politics at a very young age. That's it. It's a nice church, don't you think? I'll tell you what a nice church it is. Connor Roy was interested in politics from a very young age. I think Connor probably, his rising is probably Capricorn. Okay, um, just so you know, I want Willet in this. So. Uh, okay, is that, is that... Is that appropriate? Connor. Oh, no, that's fine. It is appropriate. Okay. Because uh, he seems to work hard. He's invested in things. He's especially invested in Willa. And I think Willa, to me, seems like like a Libra. Really bad for your campaign. I mean, I was just talking to those guys over there. The Wolf Pack? The Wolf Pack? Yeah, Dad's little crew back in the day. Oh, Jesus. Okay, some of the stuff that they got up to with Mo, you do not want to be associated with. Sure, no, I know. Still, it's complicated. It was a different time. It wasn't a time before they invented laws, was it? Lester has, as we know, passed on. Lester was a man. Also, Lester was an employee of the Waystar Company for 40 years. And when a man dies, it is sad. All of us will die one day. In this case, it is Lester who has done so. Lester was alive for 78 years, but no more. Now he is dead. Yeah, which and the Capricorn Libra combination like sort of speaks for itself there because that's pretty popular. Can I just say, sure. 
I never touched Roman inappropriately. If he says I did, I didn't. Well, glad to clear that up. Oh, you fuck watching, you fuck it. There's dinner rolls ripping out there Potter. as we speak. Potter. I am a laughing stock. Hey, hey, you guys. You won't believe what people are saying out there. It's amazing. We tore it up. We nailed it, man. Score team record. You're awesome, dude. You're awesome, awesome, awesome. I love you so much. Everyone, you're amazing, and I love you so much. Stephanie, my rock. Come on, bring it. Come on, come on, come on. Pa, hey, we should talk to some girls. Hey, little tip. Ask them where they were on 9-11. What? If they don't know, they could be under 21. Connor, come here. Who has a call, girl? Not anymore. Me and sometime that might come out and hurt my profile or Tom's profile and I want to be horrible, but come on, you get it, right? Okay, I get it, but if you don't allow it, I'm going to punch Tom in the face and I'm going to rip my shirt open, I'm going to take a fucking dump on the ground, I'm going to go ape shit because she's the woman I love. Do you get it? Okay. <clears throat> You're in. I literally can't even move my face right now. I guess it's actually done. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go wash this off and I'm going to use a little bit of this, which is prescribed to me by my doctor. I am certainly not a dermatologist, but I certainly have dermatologist prescribed items to use. This is a foaming sulfur wash. Apparently sulfur is really good for your skin. I'm gonna supposed to use it twice a day. Yo, tag Obama and tell him I need to talk to him today.